Hello everybody, Izumi here, running Dark Flame Festival 8 Star Solo. And first off, my tank is going to be Mecha Fist Rin, who is set up like this. And I'm using um, Feather Blades for healing, even though that's probably not the best idea. Um, second is going to be Solstice. Again, more uh, Feather Blade healing. And uh, I love her dress. And third is Snake Blade Dinah. And make sure to run these uh, high flame rings in this fight. And these also help too with getting rid of uh, Momiji and stuff because they're humans. And fourth is going to be Blodu. And last is Magic Doctor Lumiere who really does not like fire so I've got her set up to be a little bit tanky heal a lot and this is just for the attack buffs so here we go with the fight so the main boss is Dark Flame Kagutsuchi who is in the ranged row is Aesir and is considered to be airborne her action skill, Vengeful Blaze, does 150% fire magic attack damage and flame chain for 3 turns to 1 enemy each with the highest attack, magic attack, and evasion. Flame chain effect only applies to humans and Yotun. Her auto skill does fire magic attack damage and flame chain for 3 turns to all en enemies in the connect. Flame chain only applies to human and Yotun. On 7 star she has a flame field, on 8 star she has a high flame field. And next we have Gambler Ronco who is in the ranged row, is considered human and is grounded. Her action skill targets uh, a random enemy, then does fire attack damage 3 times and can apply curse, sleep, or silence. Her auto skill hits the front and back three enemies with fire attack damage as well as applying magic attack reflection barrier and attack magic attack 30% up for three turns to all of her allies. And last but not least there is Ninja Momiji who is in the range row is human and is considered to be grounded. Her action skill does 30% dark attack damage 8 times to the farthest enemy. Her auto skill does dark attack damage 5 times to 3 enemies with the lowest dark resistance. Also attack and magic attack 30% down for three, 3 turns to all enemies. On 8 star she does dark attack damage seven times and shadow bound for three turns to three enemies with the lowest dark resistance shadow bound applies to aesir human and yotan so water and light are going to be your most effective elements here um so there some other heroes you can use are going to be uh esquire uh you could use port uh ulin sif Paso, Shui Rin, um, Isith, uh, Awakened Vidar, Izuna, the new White Wolf Lupus, which just came out today as well, um, Forseti, Rhoda, and if you need a healer, Erd can work pr pretty well too. So um, that's really about it. Uh, just waiting on the end here, killing time like usual. The only really thing to watch out for is is if you do bring Aesir to this fight, uh, make sure that they're not one of the ones with the lowest dark resistance so they don't get hit with the shadow bound.
purposes. And come on, another hit here. There we go. Bye bye, Kagutuchi. And let's see what the damage is. And there we go. So thank you for watching and have a good day.